Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, as you can tell by the title and probably the thumbnail, which I haven't made yet, not extremely excited to be making this video. Didn't think that this video would happen. Unexpected, as these type of things should be. Okay, so where do I begin? The night started by me going out to take photos of my buddy's M2, Alex's M2, which is sick. The vlog today is going to be surrounded around a few hours of events, those events being cars. Alex Joy just built probably one of the sickest M2s in the game right now. Like, I don't think he's very contested in the area of M2 right now. We're going to try to shoot that. I, I don't think we're gonna beat the sun because we just planned it late and we suck and we're, we're kids. Like, Bro, this is ridiculous. Dude, look at that girth. The wing is like a Thanksgiving table. Man. Take the wheels. Bro. Get the uh, evil. Embroidery on the, on the A proper, like, proper tag to have in the car, huh? So we did that and that was cool and that was fine. I mean, you guys heard about it in the video. Like, it's insane. It's an insane car. It's it's so dope. And then after that, he was like, oh, it's getting dark. Do you want to go to my buddy's house? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure. So we went there and he's got a one of one Bugatti, a Koenigsegg, which is at the shop and all this stuff. So we were just hanging out, talking there for a while. Got a couple shots of the Bugatti, talked about it, whatever. So then we leave and they're like, yo, we're gonna go to Beverly Hills. Do you wanna come? And I was like, ah, oh, I don't know if I wanna go to Beverly Hills. It's like kind of late and you know, we're already kind of by my house. I'll just go home. There's a ton of traffic, so we couldn't really drive fast. We couldn't really have fun. We're just kind of chilling in traffic. Nothing's really happening. Anyway, traffic opens up enough to kind of get up to highway speed. It's still super congested, but it's enough to drive, I guess, at highway speed. And so like, just just about 70 and so this is where it all went wrong i'm gonna try to word this out and maybe i'm gonna do some type of terribly drawn or animated diagram on the video here to sh to try to show you what exactly happened so here's that doing highway speed i'm in the far right lane the lane one over from me the third lane let's call the far right lane the fourth lane so i'm driving highway speed i would say at this point so 70 like probably 65 to 70 not really fast again even though my lane has space it doesn't mean my lane is empty third lane is driving slower than that because there's more traffic in that lane that sometimes happens in los angeles so i'm driving and there is one more lane to my right but this is an exit lane this is exit only this exit lane to my right side is just about to draw to a close like this is like you're approaching the last possible time to get off of the exit so, so i'm coming up on cars on my left lane which are going slower than me and some dude some guy in in a, in a big suv decides that he's going to make a last minute lane change for whatever reason i don't know maybe he wanted to be in my lane because it was moving quicker i don't know i had no reaction coming up on this car faster than he is moving and i didn't have time to react because by the time i saw this i was already next to him i wasn't behind him so i couldn't slam on the brakes i was already next to him and when i say next to him my front left tire was probably at his back right tire so it was like right there and he just does just a, a hard yank, a pullover. Now, luckily, I would like to consider myself very nimble, myself, my car, my driving ability. And so I dodge it, which is good because remember, I still have this exit lane to my right side, which is great. It pushes me into the exit lane. And remember, this exit lane is drawing to a close. I'm forced to get off of the exit because like a wall is approaching between the two lanes, like the lanes are splitting. So right when I get into the exit lane, I know I need to slow down. So right when I get in the exit lane, I start to slow down. It goes flat and then there's a little bit of a downhill. So you can't really see what happens after the downhill. So I'll let you know what happens after the downhill. What happens after the downhill is a 15 mile an hour, somewhere between a 90 degree and a U-turn. And, and the speed sign reads 15 miles an hour. So I come down the hill and I realize that it's an insanely sharp corner. All of what I'm saying happened in a very short distance. Pushed into the exit lane, little flat, straight downhill, like immediately 100% braking. And you don't 100% brake normally unless you're in a situation like I am because I'm looking at a guardrail. I'm seeing this tight corner approach very fast. The ABS, which is a brake assist is on, which means I don't lock the wheels up, but I'm, I'm like kind of skipping into the corner. I'm trying to turn and I'm, I'm simply, I'm going too fast to make the corner. There's just no way that I can make the corner. There's no way I can put my car around this corner. There's nothing that I could have done in my driving power to make it around this corner. I went into the guardrail, full on into the guardrail. I had already kind of started the corner, so it wasn't like straight into the guardrail. I kind of was with coming with it. So I went into the guardrail, my car went all the way around the guardrail, like followed the corner around like this. I was just like shaking. I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe. 
I just hit this guardrail. I'm like, I'm crashed. Like I've never, I don't know. I never thought it was gonna happen. So the car is still running. It's not making any sounds. Everything's like okay, but I can tell it's obviously the steering is super jacked up. So I want to get out of the exit somehow. So I don't know what my car looks like at this point. What I think it looks like is that my whole front bumper's off. Might I don't know. Front left wheel's probably off. I don't know. I thought it was terrible. So I limp off of this corner, like barely. There's like like I can feel something dragging in the front and then like try really hard to make a right turn to like get off of the corner and then pull over, which I did. And then I called my buddies and then I pulled my camera out and this is, I don't know, my reaction. I don't even really remember what I filmed. I don't know. Dude. But the night wasn't over because I still needed to get my car out of there and that was a whole fiasco within itself. So I'm not gonna explain that, I'm just gonna let that footage play out and let you guys see what happened for yourselves. <laughs> Current situation, on the phone with BMW roadside assistance to get this bad boy towed out. I've been on the phone for so long, like calling everybody. All right, tow trucks have been called. Luckily, the boys were here, so I got some companionship. <laughs> we're gonna go grab a bite to eat while we while we wait for the tow truck. So, got a little time to, I don't wanna say get over it, but kind of get over it. All right, so 45 minutes later, the tow truck is here, getting my last items out of the car before I say goodbye to it for quite some time. Don't forget that little piece. I gotta keep this as a memento. <laughs> this will be what I'll keep forever to, to remember this this shunt right here. Wow, right up in there, huh? Wow. Oh, just right, right underneath. Just like that easy, huh? This is my last drive, this is my last drive. Come on, cut that nonsense, old This is your car, I'm here to do it. Maybe I don't wanna be on you upside kind of crap. Well, cut this thing out. You know what? Drop it, man. I don't want to do it. You gotta be kidding me. Bro, should I back it off? He's not about to tow his car because he's mad. <laughs> he full on just said me and is not gonna tow the car. He said, get your car off like I'm not telling it. I have to back my broken car off this. Oh. All right, girl, drop it off. I'm gonna call 911 on short. Like I got time for you little kid to play in a lamp. Just go home. Just bottle or do whatever. <laughs> what did we just miss? He's leaving. Oh, he's leaving. He's leaving. He's full on, just out. He's outie. Crash car, no one will tow it. I don't have a Uber. <laughs> tow truck number two, please, please just take my car. Just take it away from me. That's all I want. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. I never thought I'd be so excited to get it onto a truck. Now me and Mr. Tow Truck Driver have a nice ride to the shop together and then I can get in a lift and then I can go home. Goodbye Mr. Tow Truck Man, thank you so much. Goodbye BMW, it was real. It's not the last time I see you but for now it is. How you doing man? So yeah, that that was that. That um, that tow truck driver did not want to take my car. I don't I don't know. He was upset that it was a nice car. He was upset that I was young. He was upset that I was filming my car getting taken away, which I'm obviously gonna film my car getting taken away. Like I don't know, what to tell you like I'm not not going to film that. Like sorry, it's my car. I crashed it. I'm paying for this tow truck. Like we won't get into it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I unfortunately, I mean I didn't want to make this video. No one wants to make a video about wrecking your car, but I did. Uh, good news is it'll be back better than ever. 
whatever. It'll be back with some upgrades, so that's cool. My homies over at AGX are taking care of it. That's Avant Garde Exotics. They're the homies. Thank you so much to the guys over there. They're gonna turn it back into its original beastie form. So the M2 will be back in no time. I have to go get a rental car now. So it looks like I'm gonna be driving a Prius for a little while. Hey. I'm happy to be safe and not wounded. I'm totally fine. I didn't even bump anything, so we're all good. No airbags and off, nothing, we're all fine. So pray for that, be thankful for what you have. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Again, didn't wanna make this video, but I'm gonna make this video because might as well, I guess. If you guys like the content, I can't promise more car crashes in the future, but I can promise more car stuff and more of me. So subscribe, comment below what I should do more of, less ever continue doing. Like the video if you like the video. And remember, it's only getting better. My car is also getting better right now, so. All right, peace out guys.